So it's my great pleasure to introduce today Dr. Ola Olayenke Adiani. She is the executive director and founder of Women on the Watch Society Initiative, a not-for-profit organization based in South Africa. She is also the founder of the Center for the Protection of the Girl Child based in Nigeria. Her passion is to develop women and girls for economic, social, and emotional stabilities. Dr. Adiani's education is in law, and she has nearly 20 years of experience in legal practice. Olianka is a researcher, a women's rights advocate, marriage and youth counselor, motivational speaker, and a prolific writer. Thank you very much and good morning. My name is Olayenka Demi. And I'm the founder of Women on the Watch Society Initiative South Africa. The presentation this morning is about my, the fellowship projects that I have in the next one year in South Africa. And is on improving sexuality education for teenagers in South Africa. Basically, this presentation will be about the introduction of the research, the assumptions that brings it up, the aims and objectives, the research questions, the importance of the project, the methodology that would take, and the expected outputs. Myself and the organization of Women on the World Society Initiative would be taking up this project. Women on the World Society Initiative is a not-for-profit organization registered in South Africa. We are into women and children's rights issues and development. We engage communities in development issues. We are into advocacy and outreaches, and we also do research. I have a team of women on the Women on the World Society Initiative platform, basically made up of women from different professions and different fields of life. And myself, alongside with these women, would be taking up this project together in South Africa. Now, I'll introduce the project. Um, during the course of my doctoral program, which I concluded last year, I researched on child marriage in Nigeria, but I did a comparative study of sexual abuse as a part of, as I, I, did, I did a comparative approach study of child marriage in South Africa and looking at sexual abuse as a part of it. So I came to the realization that teenage pregnancy is a huge problem in South Africa. And from research, the prevalence is higher than in US and in UK. Now, even before, shortly before I came here in October, there was a publication in Soweto News about a teenager who impregnated three girls amongst his classmates. And there's the realization that probably the current sexuality education in South Africa is not effective. And so Women on the World Society Initiative will be looking into this, why we engage the community, the teens, the schools, and the government to solve the problem. What are the assumptions that we have in mind to bring up this project? We are assuming that teenage age is a time whereby the experiments. Teenagers are naturally inquisitive, and so they engage in sexual activities. This sexual activity can result in pregnancy, we are assuming that the current sexuality education in South Africa is not adequate to meet the needs of these teenagers. We are assuming that solutions to the issue of teenage pregnancy will be identified through this project and that the results can be informative and adapted in other places. The aims and objectives for this research, like I said, or the project, is that we want to explore ways of improving sexuality education for teenagers so as to reduce or prevent this issue of teenage sex related problems, particularly teenage pregnancy. And so we'll be taking up Sushangufe area and Acadia as a pilot focus area. We are aiming to identify the level or the grade at which sexuality education should be initiated among teenagers. 
there is the assumption that there is um, a teenage, teenage sexual education presently takes place in the schools through the through what we call life orientation and life skills, both in the junior and the senior grades. From research, we realize that from grades from grades one to seven, which forms the lower grade in, the, in South Africa, we have teenagers like up to 14 years, and a lot of them are sexually active at that particular time. Or I know, despite the fact that at the interventions of this sexuality education, we still have problems of teen sex that are teen sex related. And so we hope that through this project, to be able to identify the particular grade or level at which sexuality education should be initiated among teenagers. We are hoping that we'll be able to determine the impact of the current sexuality education on teenage pregnancy. And we are hoping that by this project, we'll be able to inform policy reform on sexuality education in South Africa. Now, what are the possible effects and effective ways of improving sexuality education? This forms the major part of our research questions. Our research questions follows our objectives and this is the most important one. But we'll also be asking these questions, at what grade or level of school should this education be initiated? Does the present sexuality education curriculum have an impact on teenage pregnancy in South Africa? And what is the necessary policy reform for adequate sexuality education? Well, we're talking about the significance of the research, it is important for decision making for women on the world society initiative because it will help us to determine our programs what do we take up as advocacy programs what do we teach how do we go about it it will be important because stakeholders will be able to participate in a citizen-led change in south africa it will be important for south africa because it will help them to somehow resolve this issue of teenage pregnancy and other teen related sex problems. It will be important for the generation of teenagers in South Africa, as we find this teenage pregnancy very high amongst them. And you know, when a girl gets pregnant, most likely she will drop out of school. It would affect her future. It will affect her access to future, future possibilities. And we know that when that happens, it will affect the community. And so this research would lead to a positive impact in the generation of teens. Also, this project will be a pilot one for similar African countries. Now I want to talk about the methodology that this project would use. It will be an action research approach which will involve a collaboration with the community. We'll collaborate with the teenagers, we call them learners in South Africa, students in school age. We'll involve the governments, the schools, the communities and the NGOs. These teenagers will be the team researchers. Everybody will be involved in gathering data, analyzing it, coming up with recommendations and suggestions for the program at the end of the day. We'll be doing interviews, We'll be doing desktop and library research, and myself and WOW, Women on the World Society Initiative, will coordinate the project. The expected output that we have is the fact that we'll be able to identify the area of improvement in the current sex education curriculum. We'll be able to en engage the community in citizen-led change for a problem of society concern. We'll contribute to the academic body of knowledge in the area of research. We'll be able to disseminate information in the area of research and lastly, we'll be able to inform policy reform on sex education in South Africa. Those are the things that we'll be able to do as a result of this project. Thank you very much.